Hello my fellow spuds and welcome to a brand new episode of The Sapling. So since my last video on the game there's been quite a major update which has overhauled a lot of stuff, it's done a lot of optimizations, a lot more interesting things you can do so let's just dive straight on into it. So we're just going to start a new game and we're going to go down to the sandbox mode as we have done in the past however drastically different <laughs> straight away. So right now you can actually see your little world and you can adjust a lot of stuff from the map size to mountains, oceans, everything basically you can possibly imagine. And you can even see what the temperature is, the wind speed, soil softness, everything about your little world. You can even see what the map would actually look like if you flattened it out, which I just think is amazing. I love it. So I'm going to stick with a fairly small map this time around and we're going to have a little play around the settings, see what we can find. So I would say mountain height, oh, we could have some fairly high mountains, but I'd rather not be much just because it's easier to see everything. Ocean current speed, like quite a lot of ocean, maybe we can join that up. There we go, that's quite cool. Okay, so we could change the ocean current slightly, I guess. Let's do that, that looks all right. Uh, percentage of deep water, like there, that's, that'll do. Soil softness, so if we do that. Adds a lot of random detail, as the rest will be clay. Let's have a little variation. Let's do that. And temperature-wise, we kind of want a little mix of both. So let's go with this. Actually, no, let's, let's keep it there for now. Uh, wind speed, that looks fine. What we're going to do is we're going to go to seasons. And this is a really cool aspect. So to start off, you basically start off, everything is neutral. It's exactly what you set it out with. However, what we're going to do is we're going to have four seasons like we have on Earth. What we're going to have is season A, so that'll be spring. So it's a little bit warmer. Still a little bit wet, uh, not so windy, I guess. Summer, it's pretty sunny, I guess. Uh, we're going to get rid of some of the water. We'll drop it down. Wind speed. Actually, we'll have autumn neutral. We'll have it as a little bit wet. And then winter, we will have it as old. Very cold, actually. Uh, we'll have it at neutral wetness. A little bit windy. And that looks like it will be good. So there we go. Our map will look like this. We've got walkability. So most of it's walkable. Temperature a bit on the hot side uh maybe we should cool it down a little bit just so we can have a variety of different creatures there we go that's all right wind speed pretty quiet that's not too bad soil softness yep we've already seen that shallow ground ocean depth yep all looks pretty good now this is where it gets really cool because you can change the the color of the sun in a sense and what colors your plants will need to be to basically photosynthesize and how it all works so what we can do is kind of this is more like earth colors i think as a default what we could do is we could put more red into there which will change the color of the natural plants to this these plants the plants will have to be this color if they want to actually survive what we could do is we could just alter this slightly there we go a little bit more alien looking so we've got lots of yellows blues browns that's pretty cool we could also chuck that in there to make it stable. Uh, yeah, you can add some pinks in there, why not? And we are on the slightly small map. In my experience, I don't have the best PC in the world, but when it's on the largest map, it still runs absolutely fine. But if you suddenly do a few skips ahead and you have mutations on, it does start to chug the game a little bit. So I'm going for a slightly smaller map just so that we can do all the mutations we want and really see how our creatures can evolve over time. So we're going to go straight into this. So as you can see since last time, there's a completely different tab. Algae, basically. And we plant this specifically underwater. So it's not a terrestrial plant, it's just simply underwater. As you can see, which is different to last time, we have to change the colour to match the suitable sunlight for the planet. So ours was blues, pinks, browns, yellows. We can't go too bright, so we have to kind of stick right in the middle aspect. We could go for yellows as well. We can go really bright with that yellow, which is quite cool. Now, we could have this, which is maximum soil so this should be really really good there's no minimum requirement but there is a uh, quite a lot of maximum requirement for the soil type let's go for this one first and i think seeing as maximum current speed is really really quick uh, expect offspring is all right i think that's good there's not really much that you can change right now with this apart from the blade size all that really does is it means that there's you have more offspring like that, but it can only survive in a weaker current. Although technically our current's quite weak, isn't it? So we might as well go for that one. So let's have a quick look. Our little algae can be placed pretty much anywhere in the water as long as it's not next to land directly. So we will chuck a couple of these down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a few basic creatures and plants to begin with. And then I'm going to mutate them over time and we can go from there. We're going to 
add these on by default 7.5 percent we're going to whack that up to 15 in my experience 7.5 is good if you want to do like a long-term little playthrough 7.5 is really good to see the little changes but we're going to whack it up to 15 just to really see some of the changes very quickly i love how it looks it's so so cool now with everything love it absolutely love it now we've got them I think we should make a little water creature. So you can see already there's a couple of new parts. There's some little fins, there's what looks like tails, but they can also be used as legs. What we're going to do is we're going to make like a little fish type thing. So we're going to get it a bit smaller. Little fins at the front. That looks all right. We will have a tail. Now we need a little mouth. We need something that's probably going to be good for just plants and it goes underwater. So as you can see, if I hover over something underneath, you've got energy from plants, energy from meat, so you can tell whether it eats meat or plants. Time underwater, infinite, means it can stay underwater infinitely long, but it can only stay on the land for six. I don't know quite what six means. I'm presuming six minutes, but it's hard to tell exactly what that means. We want something that's going to be just for plants. We don't want this to really go on land, so anything really that's just underwater and just for plants. It looks like this is probably the best one, so we're just going to add this straight onto our little fishy. We will put some little basic eyes on this. Yeah, we've used up the space for <laughs> uh, our eyes on it for fins, but that's fine. We can add it on the top. We'll add some basic little eyes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and then we can have a look to see if we can add anything else i don't think so because the body is way too small for what you normally would have but it's a nice little fish uh we will change the traits a little bit so really what we want is we want this to only the egg type is really in water that's all we really want so that means that the eggs will survive minus 50 to 50 perfect for us we want this to be a nice color that will stand out from everything so i think a nice bright red that we can see underwater look at that Beautiful. We'll try this out for now. So as you can see, apart from that one spot in the water over there, it should survive really well anywhere in the sea. So we're going to chuck a couple in this pond here. That might evolve into something completely different. I'll put it in this little nursery app bit over here. A couple over here, a couple over here. And that'll do. And we can watch it swimming around. Our weird little fish with a little quill going on. Right, so that should be the basics of underwater done. There's quite a lot more we can do, but for now, we will work on just getting one plant of each onto the land, establishing them before we go any further. Let's make a little plant. So what we can do is we can put some fruit on there. If we hold control, new aspect, we can then pop each part without having to constantly click on them, which is great. This color is not suitable for the planet. So we need to change that in a second. It'll probably survive like this, but it'll be quite good to have some form of leaf as well. Because we've got the seasons, we don't want it to be something that's just for hot or just for cold. Uh, I think like minus 20 to 30 would be really good. Let's just pop a couple of those leaves on. There we go. We'll have a little look at the roots. What we'll do is we'll spread the roots out a little bit. Shallow but wide, I think, is a good plan. Now we can change the color. Right, so we can have this nice little bright pink thing. Uh, that works, all right. Energy profit, that's pretty good. Requires soil softness. Ah. Let's have it like that, and then it's like medium everything. That's fine. That should be planted pretty much everywhere. Lovely. Pop a few of these just dotted around. There we go. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Right, so let's speed things along just for a little bit. As you can see, expanding everywhere. Nothing to compete against it, and it's just going to spread rapidly. We can already see, if I pause it quickly, the evolution has already started. That's evolved to have bark instead of just a normal stem. As you can see, this is brown, that's pink, which is really cool, seems we haven't even fast-forwarded time at all, because we can actually jump time, so we can go from 50 years, 100 years, simulate up to 10,000 years. Oh, and over here, for some reason, bark is kind of taking over slowly, which is pretty cool. I think we're going to try and make some form of tree, we have a little bit of energy profit. It's it's going to be hit and miss. I'm not sure if this is going to survive. This has been my issue with making these large plants, is that it's just not possible to grow proper trees. I don't know if that's just me, but I, I do struggle when it comes to this size. Okay, right, so I've made it so that there are a couple of patches where it should be able to survive. That'll have to do then. I'm not sure if this is going to survive, but for now, we've got this. But I think at this point, we should really focus on a little animal. Now, I think what would be quite cool 
is we have something like maybe a little bird. I don't have much luck with birds in this, so I think this will be quite fun. Let's try it like this. This one can survive underwater a little bit as well. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> we give it a little... little. Oh, no, that's, that's cursed. <laughs> Let's not do that. Right, so we've got this weird little chicken thing. Can we move its head up a little bit? I don't think its body's long enough to do that. Yeah. Unless we pop that there. Ugh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, we can make it... Oh. Okay. I kind of want to see what happens with this. Give it this little little tail. There we go. Feet don't touch the ground, don't they? Okay, I need to make it thinner. There we go. Okay, now it can now I can walk. There we go. Right, now it's got feathers. It looks amazing. Uh we should probably have this where it requires a nest. Let's have it like a white, like a little se weird seagull. There we go. I like that. Oh god, it's huge compared to the trees. I thought it was gonna be able to nest in those trees, but I don't know if that's gonna be an option. <laughs> it just falls into the ground. Oh dear. Um, I think I've ruined it already. Is that in a tree? It's in a tree. Look at that. It's nesting. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, it's just eating the fruit. Yeah, it's eating the fruit. Look at that. Oh, that's what well, that one's flying backwards. <laughs> it's majestic. Oh, it's got a little nest on the ground. Oh, that's cute. And we're going to fast forward time. Let's do a 500 years. Let's wait for the game to sort itself out. So the trees did die, unfortunately. I thought that was a given. I've never had much luck with trees. However, surprisingly, these birds are doing all right. I don't know how, but they seem to have exploded in population and taken over everything. <laughs> uh, how are the fish doing? Are the fish doing all right? Oh, the fish are everywhere as well. We've already got a slightly different color of kelp. Got a nice orange one. This is more of a greeny colour, which I'm interested in, because I didn't think green survived, but they seem to be doing really well under here. That's cool. So we've got some different types as well. That di yeah, different roots. So that one's like a more like a normal root structure. That one looks like it's a sucker one. Cool. So we only planted one type, and already it seems to have evolved into basically fill out the whole ecosystem. We didn't need to plant any different types. It's already done that for us. The birds are going underwater to have to hunt the fish by the look of it. And when they swim, they're... <laughs> Most of them are under the water. Oh, I love these weird little birds. Oh, hang on. They, they are trees. They didn't all die out. Oh, they survived on this tiny little patch. So let's have a quick check of our evolution tab. So we can have a little look and see all the different types of plant and things that we've actually got going. What's died out, what hasn't. We will start off with the algae. Look at how many different types of like species we've got currently alive and living together. There's loads of them. Normally when I've done this, it's like you have maybe a couple of each. And most of them, it's like you have like one predominant species and the rest die out. But this is like, you've got a few hundred of each type. You've only got seven of that one. But they've been going quite a long time as well. If we go for plants, we can see all the different types. Now they look all the same, but there are some slight differences. That one's got a branch. We've only got the one that's alive that's evolved a branch. We've got 11 trees. They're, uh, they're doing all right. And they've been alive 600 years, so hopefully they will continue. Well, and that's a weird looking one. We'll go to the animals. So we've currently got a load of different type of fish. That one's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Different mouth. How many different types of bird do we have? We've got quite a few, actually. This one is kind of like the one that we started off with, 550 years old. This one, it evolved straight away to be lower to the ground. <laughs> Realising clearly how stupid the design was that we started off with. This one, different mouth. Oh, it's a different type of beak. It looks like more of a carnivore beak. Interesting. This one doesn't even have feathers anymore. It evolved not to have feathers, interestingly. Okay, right. So we've got this island of weird seagulls. Um... I think it might be quite good to make a predator of sorts. I know I did see one that looked like it had a predator mouth, but there weren't many of them. So, oh, that one doesn't even have a face. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so let's make a different creature. I think we're going to evolve like a little mammal. Have something that probably can survive the cold a bit better. We'll have it fairly low lying. We'll have it to be a proper little scavenger. This is like a proper little like tiger type thing, which I'm quite pleased with. Well, we don't have a green, do we? Because we changed the other one. Oh, there's a weird goblin. I love it. Let's give it a go. Oh, there's so many animals starting to lag the game a little bit. <laughs> now, it does have a feature that when it starts to get a bit laggy and it's been going for, I think it's about 15, maybe, I think it might be an hour, 
half an hour. It will automatically reload your map to avoid, to basically save lag. So I'm hoping that's going to happen at some point soon. Well, they're having a little jolly time while they're being uh, harassed by the birds. Is it eating a plant or is it eating a bird? I can't quite tell. It's doing something. That one doesn't have any eyes. That's terrifying. Um, <laughs> well, there's some meat there. That's good. So hopefully these things will survive. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly fast forward time a little bit. I think now that we've got a predator on the land, technically the birds can hunt the fish. So we've got a predator which does act in the sea. We've got trees, we've got plants, we've got loads of types of kelp. I think that's a pretty good ecosystem already. So let's just jump forward the 10,000 years if the game will let me. And let's see what happens once this timer is up. Right then, it's been, well, over 10,000 years now. Um... What's happened? It doesn't look very good, does it? Well, at least the lag is pretty much gone. But so has all... Oh, no, not all the animals. There are fish. Look at that. The fish are all alive. <laughs> the first things we make, and they basically not changed at all. That's amazing. But yeah, it looks like pretty much everything on land is dead. The plants have evolved drastically, so we've got these different ones depending on where we are on the island. These ones just seem to just all be yellow and have branches, which is quite cool. There is a nest. Makes me think there might still be some things alive. There's not much here. Just a bunch of dead empty nests by the look of it. Yeah, everything on land just seems to have died. Uh, whether that's due to the seasons or what, the birds just all died out. They were fine for 500 years, but over 10,000 years... Everything just died. Maybe that was the goblins. Maybe they ate all the birds and then they themselves starved to death because they couldn't fish properly. Who knows? So we've currently still got loads of fish. They're doing really well. So this is really cool. Really colorful little underwater system uh, with a little variety of different fish. So that one's got a different fin on its head. That one's got a different mouth. Yes, yeah, it's cool. Little ecosystem where it looks like pretty much they all retained that red colour. But they're slightly different. Unfortunately though, pretty much everything died. Um, so I think it's time that we created something a little bit more simple that should be able to actually survive. So I think just some form of herbivore. Lovely. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fun already. Swimming speed is awful. That's fine. It can walk. It can't climb. Yep, obviously. Expected age 40. Time and egg 4 years that's pretty good uh temperature resistance Ooh, it's not very good at temperature resistance i think give it some fur that's fine black we'll have a nice little black there isn't really anything else on here that's that color so that's fine we could give it a nice little light i guess on its side glows in the dark you can then do a little instinct so if it sees a light in the dark then cool so that means it can find a mate easy i guess at night it's got eight species that it can eat the fruit and the plants and 10 different types it can eat the whole plant. It should be fine. There's nothing that can actually eat the adult of this. It might just have to be that I make a species that's like a large bird or something. So that that's like a carnivore so that it can uh, eke out the population a bit because we don't want something that's going to kill off everything. <laughs> I think the uh, weird goblin tiger we made was probably just too good. They just killed everything off. So we don't want we want something that's a bit more slow to produce. Have it on the top of its head. Oh, that's terrifying already. And we will have some little ears in the middle. There we go. Now we want this to be, I think, significantly bigger. Right, I think that'll probably do. Maybe if we have some uh there's a little horny bum. There we go. <laughs> energy for one meal. It gets a lot of energy for one meal. It can go in the water for quite a long time as well, so it could technically fish. Temperature wise, it's not great, so I think we might need to alter that a little bit. We do that, and then if we give it like heat loss, that looks fine. Right, white. Replace the uh, seagull, I think that's quite cool. If I saw that running towards me, I would be terrified. Uh, it can survive, we don't want many of these. Right, we'll pop a handful around the place. Are you just gonna hover in the air? I don't quite know what's going on there. Uh, I think we broke the game just from uh, making them. Well, it's fine. Right, so that's, uh, let's just jump for 250 years, and then it should sort itself out. Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> uh, if we made a creature that literally broke the world. Okay, I think I might have fixed the game. We still seem to have the floating one, but I have gone in and manually exterminated the species itself. 
but these things are doing okay. We've, we've been going for a little while now. That one just hatched from an egg. That was adorable. You see, <laughs> you see a light in the dark cry. Um, I was meant to be cool, not cry, but okay. <laughs> it just seems a little bit sad. Oh, we're going to see them at night with their little lights glowing. That's adorable. We still got the uh, omnipresent white carnivore in the sky that doesn't seem to want to come down. That's fine. Uh, our fishes are doing all right. Little Bob, he's he's just he's just bobbing along, he's having a whale of a time. Oh God, look at this! <laughs> uh, so it's evolved a branch. I suppose I wanted trees, and that's kind of a tree. Um, it's getting there anyway. Oh, it's so strange. We started off this little shrub type thing, and now we've got basically a tree. It's got the fruit at the top, but it's got no fruit on the bottom like it used to be. It's been replaced with leaves. We still got our little basic. Oh, it's exactly the same as when we first started. That's exactly the same. We've got the fruit in the same place. We've got the same leaves. So this original species is still growing strong. But it's amazing that everything else stemmed from that one species. Like over here, we've got the ones that just have one giant. Well, I'm not going to say what that looks like, but one giant long branch. All the ones that have uh, that going on. It's weird that over there, they're so different. It's really cool how it's worked out. Oh god, I didn't even notice these ones. Okay, so we've got these weird little potato ones. <laughs> we've just got really fat. So I think in terms of plant species, I think we've done pretty well. I think we've got a really diverse amount. For some reason, the kelp is trying to get onto the land. Don't do that. I don't think our ecosystem can take kelp suddenly getting on the land. Weirdly, the fish that we made right at the beginning barely changed. Some of them have a little fin on the top that's different from when we first started. But overall, it's retained exactly the same colouring, the same shape, everything else. So it's clearly really well adapted. And then our little things that are basically the same as well. I don't think there's many that have changed there. It still says there's four of these birds alive. I think I'm going to kill them off. Because I think they might be what's causing issues with the game. Got all these different fish, pretty much the same got a couple of these 240 of them i think that's the original and we've got a couple of other species not many of them that one's got a completely different mouth uh that one's got different eyes yeah and we only really went forward 500 i think it was, was it 250 years we went forward so not much i'd like to see predators naturally evolve over time i don't think i've really seen it properly take off like that but i think whenever i've introduced carnivores into a situation where there's loads of herbivores they just all end up dying um i think they oh they it's like what happens in real life when you put a new carnivore or a new species into an already established ecosystem they just wreak havoc um so i think it's probably best to let it happen naturally but i haven't had it happen naturally yet not the one that's successful and there's a nice balance so let's just try it we'll jump forward ten thousand years see what happens Obviously, we've still got the all-powerful carnivore in the sky. Don't know what it's doing. It's just... It's just there. Um, how are you still alive? I exterminated you. Go away. You don't exist. Stop it. You're not 21,000 years old. You don't exist. We've got 28 pages of... Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> oh, the different birds that died off. That one is the best. That's incredible. Uh, little little birdie it's like a yeah <laughs> i can't even describe that that's amazing um there's another one like it but without feathers oh that's cursed so strange the amount of stuff and probably only out of these probably only one or two end up surviving just dying out straight away but it's interesting to see all the different types like this one what is going on with that multiple sets of wings four sets of feet and some wings we could try introducing another species again, putting it back in the ecosystem, seeing what that does. Let's do that. We can introduce another one. This one in particular seems pretty cool. Uh, four wings, two feet. It's got the same beak as before. Chuck a couple there. Couple on the other side, just to see what happens. And it's evolved different traits, so if you feel too cold, go away from it. If you see an egg, attack it, if close. If you feel too warm, go towards it. That's not a good plan. If you feel too warm, go towards it. No wonder it died out. If it'd go away from it being too warm, it might have succeeded. Right, so now we've got a variety of different plant species, even some tree-looking things, which is quite cool. We've got two species of underwater plant, well, hundreds of species of underwater plant, just too many to count. Two different types of fish. 
I really want these birds to succeed. I really want to have a flying species that's just going to be okay. They are also carnivores, but they can eat fruit. So that could fulfill both roles, really. So let's fast forward time one more time. See what it ends up like. I just realized that resetting the game, the mutations weren't on. So we're now we, what we're going to do is we're going to do another 10,000 years. And we're going to add mutations on. See what happens. See if anything changes over that time. The omnipresent creature still in the sky. The birds look like they've died off once again. Not really sure. Oh, <laughs> I just died in front of our eyes. Not really sure why the birds died out, seeing as I did a run with just 10,000 years. With the mutations off, the birds were thriving. I had mutations on, they all die out. So yeah, we've still got what looks like pretty much the original species here. I think they might have got extra fur on them. It looks like this other species has evolved to have a single eye in the middle. And all the birds have died out. This is bizarre. Uh, it looks also like the plants have gone back right to basics. They've got rid of the leaves and they've just got stems. They've kind of devolved back into the most basic form they can, which is really odd. Is there anything even alive over here? Yeah, they're the original ones we made. So... The original ones weirdly have survived all this time in this little pocket over here. But then the plants over here have gone back to basics as well. Got rid of all their leaves. Oh. Fish still seem to be the same as they always are. Yeah, they're just, they're just doing their own thing. What is this? They seem much bigger than the ones I made. They just evolved to be bigger. Is that what the difference is? Let's have a look at you. Not 100% sure, but they do look bigger than the average one. Oh, that's odd. They seem to be doing well. It's just a bit strange that the birds all died out. They should have had plenty of food. It must have just been their traits. So I think before I go, I'm just going to try and make an underwater predator and see what that does. See if uh, the fish survive, see if that dies out. And um, we'll simulate one more 10,000 years, I think, before we end. Maybe we'll make it really ultra long. Give it little legs. The shark that can go on land. Make it a little bit shorter still. We'll give it a nice shark tail. There we go. Give it some nice beady little eyes. This is a weird thing. This is this is ultra strange. Um, we need to change its color. I think a bright green to match the old goblin thing we made. We'll give it some instincts. All right. If it feels pain, go towards it. If it feels too cold, go away from it. If it feels too warm, go away from it. If it sees meat, go towards it. That seems like a good idea. I think that's good. That should allow this weird little shark creature to survive that little bit longer. Right, here we go. So, pop a few in there. A few in that side. A few on the end. A few this side. There we go. And a few at the end. Oh, it looks like, is it winter? Yeah, it's winter. Well, it's the first time we've actually seen it winter. Look how look, it's all icy. <laughs> Put it during winter, has no time to adapt. I don't know, right, let's fast forward a little bit, see what happens. It seems to be doing okay. It's not dead yet. Been alive 30 days, although it doesn't look like there's any of its other kind near it. Uh, it might, might die out. Yeah, there's not many anywhere. I think it might just die. Hmm. Okay, right, well, let's, let's do one more jump. One more jump. We'll see what happens, and then I'm going to call it a day. Right then, I'm back in our little uh, little paradise. We've still got our little fishes going. They have not changed at all since the very beginning. I think we've gone forward, what, 50, 60,000 years? Nothing's changed. Pretty cool. <gasps> Look, they've developed spikes, so stuff can't eat them. Oh, dear. Has that drastically affected the ecosystem? Um, I can't see anything alive. Oh, no, here we go. Right, so over there, no, because nothing can eat the plants. However, they just seem to have all merged on this one spot over here. Uh, what is, what is that? I'm sorry, but what? <laughs> uh, so yeah, they, some of them have drastically changed. This one doesn't seem to have eyes anymore. Interestingly, uh... And this one has also not got any eyes. It looks like the original design is still going strong. But this weird design with four legs, no eyes, does seem to be uh, taking over slowly. 
Oh, it's weird what evolution does. We will have a quick look at the animals just to see. I'm presuming that the uh, the species we did make died out. You are not alive. Stop lying to me. <laughs> Apparently, I, I reckon what's happened is that the nests are still there. Um, and when we fast forwarded time, there were four in their nests. And it's not registering that they're dead, although they are, but probably the nests are still there. Uh, we've got quite a few different types of fish, though. We've got a variety of these ones. They're still going strong. The original species, it only looks like there's one left, which is quite sad. Um, oh, no, that's not the original. This is the original. Yeah, this original's been going for 16,000 years. That was the one which had the fur on it. But the fact that our original fish that we made way back when is still going strong is crazy just laid an egg that's nice everything else i've made has died off but this one fish is doing all right it does show the simplest organisms are more likely to survive which is really really cool but yeah i hope you enjoyed this i really really like this update it's i'm sorry it's taken a while to get this out but i've had a load of personal stuff moving house and new baby on the way all sorts of stuff going on so yeah it's taken a while to uh, it's been on the back burner for a little while so i apologize for that but i'm really excited to see where this game goes but anyway Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later on when there's another update. Alright, cheers guys. Bye-bye.